Fala galera, beleza? Bem-vindo a Taurian Podcast. Queria agradecer a todos aí que estão assistindo, a todos que estão dando suporte, aos nossos 375 bilhões de seguidores. Queria agradecer o amor que vocês têm dado pra gente. <risos> E queria dizer a vocês que vocês têm um espaço no nosso coração, inclusive os nossos clientes que estão comprando nossas luvas. E hoje nós temos um convidado especial, então fiquem ligados aí que a gente vai estar tá apresentando o nosso próximo convidado. All right, everybody, just uh, I want to say hi to everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate the love. I really appreciate the uh, the American people. Sometimes they don't really understand what we're saying. But they're here, they're subscribing, they're liking our stuff, they're buying our gloves. I really appreciate the support. So today we have a very special guest. I don't know if he remembers me, but I used to train with him <laughs> a long time ago. So uh, today we have Sydney, the outlaw, no love. What's up, bro? <laughs> I am so blessed to be here right now. Thank you so much, man. And these gloves are dope. Oh, I know, I know. I made it myself. I made it myself, man. It I still me. can't believe. It. I believe you, but yeah, it's a compliment, you know. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You know, you, you know, you're gonna get something today, right? You're gonna get a gift. Oh, a gift? Yeah, you're getting a glove yeah, today, well, bro. I'm, I'm, don't yeah. be, don't yeah, be like, you know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool, bro. I'm gonna be really happy about you it. You like these right here? Yeah. These are. I've been using these gloves for two years. Really? That's the difference with the leather gloves. You see wow. that? Real leather gloves, huh? Real leather. We no, don't play around. That is really. We cool. make it from scratch. Honestly, bro, I'm not even lying. You look like the Brazilian John Wick, with the gloves on. Really? A badass. I just can't shoot for shit. But <laughs> hey, you can mess people up though, right? I That's can. all that matters. I can. That's yeah. All that matters. I've been training for a while. Not only that, but um, I'm very good at paintball. Pa Dude, Why? I love yeah. airsoft. Really? I love. Honestly. After my after my next fight, I'm honestly gonna take a, a good percentage of it and invest in like a paintball arena. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I love not paintball, airsoft. So if I invite you to play paintball, would you do it? I would. Um, I would. Uh, yes, but you also have to do an airsoft. Cool. cool yeah, airsoft. I'm down with it. I got all the guns, and I'm actually good at shooting real guns. So really I have a I have a lot of experience. I'm a professional. Um, I mean, I'm I'm a black belt in a very professional call of duty player so you know what i'm saying well i got I all the training bro i can recruit you on my team <laughs> you can help me unlock some guns and stuff so uh, about fighting who are you man i'm the uh i'm one of the best <sighs> i like that i feel the power right there yeah, yeah. i'm one of the best um it, for it's me, a tory mma mindset right there. yes yes i know yeah. i like it i yeah. like it but yeah yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I think God put me down here. When I was younger, I made a lot of crazy, dumb decisions. You know, probably messed my chances to uh, be where I'm at now. Okay. A little, a little like earlier. But as I got older, I kind of looked back at the journey and look where I'm at. I'm like, bro, I came very far. I don't know where. I thought I was going to be in the UFC champion, all this, all that. And I'm like, it's going to happen soon. You know, it's going to happen soon. How old are you now? Yeah, I'm j just turned thirty. You just turned thirty? Mm -hmm. Okay, so young, man. You got time. Yeah, you time. got time. So, what is your record right now? You do you been fighting MMA for how long? You really asked me my record, and I'm really gonna tell you. I don't even remember. I don't even know. I only remember the four losses, the wins. Uh, I gotta Google them. Okay. Yeah, Google. I think like around 15, 14, around there. 15. But all, but let me just clarify. All my fights are tough fights. Okay. It wasn't no like hanging down opponents. If you're not ranked, I wasn't fighting, you know, and it wasn't that I had that even an option. It was always like I was, uh, I was being fed, you know, okay. you know, throw me to the lion. Okay. Know? But then they realized, oh, snap, he, he's just a better lion. You know what I mean? So I climbed the 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 rankings a different little a different way which I really do appreciate because it made me confident in myself in uh -huh. any situation you know if I was a business owner I'll do the same thing you know um in any in any any area in life you know made me uh made me realize that I have all the tools to do it you know what I mean by yeah. myself you mm -hmm. know not with coaches not like you know pitter patter 
little uh, training partners. No, it was you take you do the basic stuff just like everybody else, and you get what you get. You make the best of what you get. You know what I mean? And I was I'm so appreciative of life and God for guiding me. And I messed up ever to this day. I still messed up. You know? How long have you been training? You say yeah, that's a weird story. Mom moved us from Philly to the suburbs. Ever since then, I thought wrestling was like real, real cool. Long story short, brother came to the army from the army, off of like vacation or whatever they call it, and said, "You still watch this stuff?" I'm like, "Yeah, Monday Night Raw or something like that, or Thursday Night SmackDown or whatever it is called." Okay. He was interrupting, so I'm like, "Yeah, man, I'm happy to see you. But let me finish watching this." He's like, and he showed me because I had a PlayStation Two and we was able to watch DVDs. Showed me King of the Cage and Henzo Gracie. Long story short, my first art that I ever started was jujitsu. Okay. A guy did it for a couple weeks. I'm still decent, right? A guy came in, Matt, Matt Moley, I think his name was. Very all American wrestler. Wrestled a couple guys. He was really, really good. Just threw me around. I got him with the X choke. Uh -huh. Because it was like, but I'm a, I'm a real individual, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, and by the way, being real is not the trend nowadays. You dig know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm honest with myself. I'm like, yo, he threw me around. And uh -huh. I just got lucky. And I'm a kid. I just got lucky that I had the. How old were you? Like 17? Yeah, 15. 15? 15. 15. All this happened drastically. Okay. So that was at, I believe. Renzo, Rizenzo, Rizenzo. Am I saying that? He's a he's he's, he's Brazilian. Oh, Renzo. Renzo. Okay. Yeah, not Henzo. I think he's like Renzo, something like that. Okay. But long story short, Renzo Gracie. Okay. Down the street was Henzo Gracie, ran by Rich Lada. He's like my father. I love that guy. He made me you do because. Meanwhile, while I'm thinking all that, like, hey, I just want to get good at MMA. He was like, well, you should go down the street. He was being a little smart ass, but it was it was all good. I actually took his advice. I went down the street, and they actually had a better deal. He got on the SEPTA bus after school. But anyway, when that when Matt Moley came in, it destroyed me and messed up my pride. I didn't just, oh, I submit him. I feel better about myself. No, that wasn't it. So I decided to do high school wrestling. And, that's, and again, PA wrestling is second to none when it comes in, you know, the country. We shouldn't, you know, it's not Ohio. No, PA wrestling is it. I don't know what it is in the water. Look at me. I'm a grappler, bro. I got a long lineage of uh, family members that that box. My dad, you know. Okay. So I, I ha So I'm your dad used to train boxing, yeah. Boxing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I I knew because of my game. My brother showed me the DVDs, and everybody that was destroying everybody was on the ground. Hinzo Gracie was one of them. So I went to Henzo's, and he didn't care. He's you're gonna continue going to school, you're gonna continue doing wrestling, and you also after wrestling, which is very hard, you're gonna get your behind on the scepter bus, and you're gonna come and you're gonna train with the adults. And I'm like, oh my goodness, life was not existing, bro. While people was doing drugs, guess where I was at? Training with grown ass men, getting thrown around. While people was game banging, going to parties. I was. I paid my dues a long time ago. This is second nature. So you're you know? good at wrestling pretty much? Everything, no. Everything? Yeah. I, yeah. You want to hear a secret? Will I'm going to tell you a secret now. Will it get me in trouble? I suck at wrestling. No. No, you don't. <laughs> I, we, I, bro, we grapple. I know, but. You don't suck at wrestling. Why are you saying that? I mean, it's not my favorite art. It's not your favorite one, yeah. yeah. Come I like jujitsu though. Jujitsu is pretty good for me. It works really well. Well, you know what? What I just understand, you don't need to be a good good wrestler. You just gotta understand it. Once yeah. you understand it, it will make complete sense to you. You're like, all right, I understand what you're trying to do. Because if you have a wrestler on top of you just mauling you, don't let um, don't let another man mole you. Like, move how to move. If the wrestler won't make you move, well, you gotta stop him from moving. Yeah, pull guard. You yeah. know, get in a comfortable position as a jujitsu, you know, player. You know yeah. what I mean? Mess up. He's kind of control you. Okay, well, be kind of hard to control. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My defense is pretty, it's pretty, it's all right. 
I know. Stop, it's... I crap with you. Stop. <laughs> what are you? What are you trying to? My defense is good, but my my attacks are not that um that I don't really I don't really try it because mm-hmm. you know I'm tall as hell. So for yeah. me to try is kind of it's yeah. kind of a little bit harder for me. Mm-hmm. But so you try train you start training when you're 15, right? Pretty much or yeah. before that. Yeah. Okay. So how long did it take for you to to be a fighter to actually get in the cage and fight someone? We, we we had amateurs. I was in high school when I had my first when I became a champion in amateur, and we kept fighting, fighting. I believe, actually, b- before all that, normally my mom, you know, single mom doing her thing, working. I gave her a, a paper to sign that allowed me to fight because I wasn't eighteen. You know. Okay. She was, I don't, she's never in her life would just read it and, and sign it. I'm like, all right, cool. She's going to look at it and sign it. I don't see the problem. Easy as that, you know. Come home from school. I was so confident. I was so confident. Cool. It was a humbling experience. I gave her the paper. I'm like, all right, can you sign this? Walked out the room. She says, Sydney, what the, can I curse on her? <laughs> I can't curse her. You can if you want. I don't care. I, I like, think hey, we can the OS blank. production <laughs> and, and see what's up. She goes, blank, 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 blank. I'm like, yeah. She read it in. She read the paper. Yeah. Allowed me to fight MMA. Cage fight? You, you lost your mind? Yeah. Went up to Coach Rich. I don't know what she said to Coach Rich because I wanted to go train. But thank God she did come. She never, She's. she always comes to my fight, but never, um, like, actually watch it. But she just had faith, all right, he won, he won, he won. Because I had a lot of belts on the amateur, and it was pretty darn cool. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And then Nick Lambo, he's a great, great, great guy. He's a commissioner. He kind of, like, forced me to go purple. Like, bro, you fought. And everybody at amateur I fought was tough, you know? Okay. Um, yeah. I, um, I, I really, I think, oh, I graduated. My last amateur fight was I walked all in the same week. I walked, I believe, I don't know in the right order, but I went to prom, walked, graduated, and then fought. I was so, I was cutting weight the whole time. My mindset, Coach Rich destroyed my old mindset. Okay. And, and I appreciate that for me because now I know, like, even if you start from the bottom and I have nothing, you want to go all the way at the tippy top, you got to work. What's a walk around rate? Walk like around rate now? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. 180, 175. 175, mm-hmm. 180, okay. And Wake up like 175. And you fight at 155. 155, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So is it hard for you to cut weight? Not if I'm disciplined. If I'm disciplined, if I don't have a lot on my table, like, you know, if I had, like, back in the day, two years ago, before I was in Bellator, I, was, I, was, I, had, I had a gym. Security, you know, like a security you guard. You owned a gym or you went to a gym? Like I had that on my own gym. Not my it's not my own gym, like a little partnership in okay. it, but long story short, it was uh yeah, I didn't do much there but teach classes and stuff, but long story short, the real complication was the the security guard, you know, when I was a security guard, you know, like a little bouncer at the door, okay. kicking people out, bringing them in the end. and then I got big working with a, a great a great like a brother of mine. His name is Rob. Have you ever got in a fight? Uh, yeah, yes, that was that was that was a hard part. Every night you had to prepare. You you were fighting regardless, you Holy like shit. it or not. You're yep. fighting. You're fighting. The nights we don't fight was kind of like the good nights for me. Everybody else get bored, but yeah, you get drunk. Have hey, ever you ever lost I mean, a fight out there? Yeah. <sighs> you know what, man? Can I say something about street fights? People always tell you like, "Oh, man, I'm undefeated in the street." That's that's a lie. One, two. Of course, you can lie. I can tell you right now. No, I never lost a street fight. No, okay, cool. I can tell you, but I'm gonna tell you I did. I, I, I got you get jumped. You can't. Two people, okay, I got you. Three people, okay. Four, come on, just make sure you just don't get hurt. You gotta train. <laughs> you know what I mean. And meanwhile, I'm still training six hours a day with Frankie Edgar down at Ricardo Almeida. And uh, going to New York, I'm still training. You, I don't, I don't have a life. You know, I don't have a life. I don't even know how to keep a stable relationship. I get the call for you, I title fight, turn over, and say, "Hey, I don't think I can do this anymore. No this is a headache." You know what I mean? So and that's actually a true story. Wh- where are you from? Philadelphia. Oh. Okay, so there's a U- um, there's a Facebook page. Mm-hmm. It's called 
um, looking for a fight, right? So mm -hmm. people go there. They wanna they wanna be fighters. They wanna be amateur fighters, mm -hmm. and they they always say, "I'm a street fighter." Do you think being a street fighter is a style? It's an actual style. Yes, I think it is, and I think it's, I think if you just wanna be a guy that collect a paycheck to feed your family, that's perfect. Okay. You can go to a UFC like that, actually. You can? Possibly. If you're a street fighter? Because yeah. you pretty much, that's the first step, right? Yeah, I you mean, gotta yeah. you got to learn how to, I mean, how to defend yourself on yeah. the streets, right? Yeah. Okay. So all these guys saying they're street fighters, they pretty much talk like they're professional. Mm -hmm. Street fighters, yeah. right? Um, some of my friends are MMA fighters. They see that. They don't They don't really like that. Mm -hmm. They think that um, being a street fighter is not really a thing. But they can actually fight. Yeah. They can fight. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there's a chance they can beat an MMA fighter, a trained MMA fighter, right? What do you think about that? You know what? Because it's a mindset, it's a chance. Anything can happen, especially when you throw a punch. Yeah. But statistically speaking, I mean, no, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat somebody. Like when they're tired, they, when you, when you're tired, and they're tired, they have technique. You know, I know a lot of fighters. You know, that. I know more fighters that aren't that doesn't have heart as much as a street fighter. You know what I mean? Because in your street, it's like, oh, I gotta win this, yeah. or I die. Uh -huh. It is it, or I can get seriously hurt, or I can really embarrass, or they they rob me. Simple as that, yeah. right? Yeah. Or you take these, you uh, you you uh, have these people that are just privileged. You know, they just have a great home. They don't have no reason to fight. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. They just want to fight because it's cool. They get they have a little temper problem. They have a what some issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when it comes to this, I think if we can just because that's why I wanted to make it. You know, for people that are I'm not a, I never claim to be a street fighter. You know, I've had a, I had a lot of fights in the streets, and I hear like some of my favorite fighters say, "Oh, I'm undefeated in the street." You haven't been in a street fight, then. You know, that's not oh. a that's not a street fight. You know what I mean? I mean, I been beat up in front of my sister. I got beat up in front of that guy on roller skates, you know? I'm a kid now. I'm fighting. He's their grown men, you know what I mean? Okay. And I try to grab him. He just picked me up, threw me, did it again, did it again. He said, yo, I'll kill him. I'm like, oh, it sucks, man. I can't even do anything. It sucks. It, it is horrible. But, um, yeah, I think I think I want to make it just so the people, you know, like the people that can't do anything, the, you know, the gangbangers, you know, the, the youth. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be like, yo, this, because I'm nothing special. I am nothing special. I'm just a guy to put all my faith in God. Don't make anything special anymore. Nothing is important. I already have it. The belt, I got it. All right. I gotta make it like that because I gotta show them. You know, like all you have to do is focus. It's gonna suck. It's gonna be hard, but you just gotta keep going. You know, not, don't look back. You lose it, you lose it. Gotta go. Don't make the mistakes I have. Otherwise, you're gonna be, you know, stagnant. I have a friend of mine. He um, he took a loss right now. I think he's gonna come here. Uh, I just want to make sure he's already in the country. He's in Brazil right now. Mm -hmm. I think he told me he was gonna come to the United States. He came from a loss. He was an undefeated fighter. I think he was a six zero, and now he had his first loss. Mm -hmm. What message would you send to him? Because it it, it kind of hit him hard, <laughs> being a you know, losing for the first time, being undefeated. Mm -hmm. What would you tell him right now? Where are you me? at? Get in the gym. You just learned a lesson. You know, yeah. this that's it. You know, I it mean, happens, I think right? there's a yeah. possibility. Of course, of course, you learn a lesson. I mean, whatever you did, you just got to be honest with yourself. Did you wake up on time? Did you do your extra run? Did you listen to everybody? Yeah. And this is a bad thing. I don't know why we get we are why we're saying to the youth, but people have this thing of train smarter, not harder, or something dumb like rest days and talk you know dumb stuff like i know people that will literally train twice a day and for a world title fight and it's like i'm like am i doing something wrong you know i don't know why but i feel comfortable overtraining and yes overtraining is not the case and i'm not i don't want to tell your friend to overtrain going to the gym and overtrain but no going there be honest with yourself that's it be honest with yourself and whatever you didn't do capitalize on it say thank you to yourself and make sure you run, diet, whatever you have to do. Again, be honest with yourself, fix it, and come back. You know, and don't stop. You know, do not 
stop at all. You make make yeah. sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, uh, he's gonna be watching that. So I, uh, Guilherme, I want to make sure you watch this. <laughs> I know you lost your fight. I know you're a great fighter, but don't worry about it. It's gonna get better. It's a lesson. All right. Everybody loses mm -hmm. someday. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, I'm not talking about fighting. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in your life, you're gonna lose something. Yeah. So just learn from it. How long did it take for you to become a uh, a pro fighter? A pro fighter again. Uh, when I graduated high school, I want to say about like three years. Three years. Yeah, that's what wrestling, jujitsu. You know, I'm still wrestling. I'm still competing amateur MMA. Still training. You know. And then, how long did it take for you to fight for Bellator MMA? Mm. Eight years. Actually, I fought my second pro fight at Bellator. Something was happening with the organization at the time, and they turned it over and built this great freaking you know empire. <laughs> Amazing, you know, rivaling the you know the, the UFC. Um, they're doing great. I love them. the best decision I made. Um, you want to make that transition eight. of going from Bellator to USA? Yeah. I like, honestly, right now, I mean, of course, the UFC is doing great, but I like Bellator where I'm at 100%. I mean, it's Scott was like, hey, go over there and uh, do something. Or, honestly, right now, I'm just focusing on giving all the glory to God, making sure I better myself so when the youth look at me, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Another, like, I'm basically trying to do what Fedor did. You know what I mean? Fedor did a good, Fedor, you know Fedor, right? Yeah, of course. Given, he, apparently, of course and yeah, yeah, apparently he got his own little team. He's giving back, you know yeah. what I mean, to the community. So far, that's what I see. That's what I'm hearing. Now, do I know for a fact? I really don't know. That's what I hear and that's what I see now. And that's what I'm trying to do, you know, because these people need to do these people, these kids in Philly, bro, that are killing you and, and taking your car for crying out loud. They're, you know, I'm blessed. I want my. And it was never from the streets. My mom kept my black ass in the house. You know what I mean? We, we, she get hit. You, what do you want to do? You got your PlayStation. You got this. You got that. You got food. We ain't going to be here for long. So we're going to go to the suburbs. And y'all going to kick your asses to a good high school. And, da, da, da. and that she, she did that. Kept the body. Boom, boom. Worked hard. So if that's it again, I want to tell these guys, y'all, you guys may not have nothing. When they may want to blame the government or blame whatever. All right. It is what it is. But you got we got to change it, you know. Don't f the police. How about we you become the police and you change it, you know? Become a do do something. Let's 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 have a, a. I don't know why I think like that, you know. I don't really hear that much, but I think because I'm a competitor, I believe. I don't know why, but I feel like instead of hating, you gotta love things, you know. Because trust me, I have a lot of hate in my heart today, right now. I have a lot of people that did me wrong. That I'm I'm trying to like you. You got the game screwed up. You know what I mean? But the thing is hate mm -hmm. it kind of helps a little bit mm. it helps you if you have if you're able to feel hate mm -hmm. you can use that against you know yeah you can try to build yourself to be a better fighter right yeah you're when right. i when i start when i start training to become a fighter i had a lot of hate mm -hmm. i had a lot of anger you know i wanted to i wanted to fight everybody i was yeah. different yeah. and then when i start training it kind of I kind of calmed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's because I got a little older. Yeah. Cool. But, yeah, but, you know, it helps. Mm -hmm. Because you understand. You understand yourself. Yeah. You know, if I'm angry, I can do this. Yeah. But if I can do this, imagine if I can control this. Yeah. And then yeah. I can use that, right, at the right time. Instead of fighting in the streets, fighting a, at, a, at a traffic stop or something. Just use that for the right moment. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you was a fighter. Because I have some questions from, the, I have people asking you some questions, which I think you're going to love okay. it. Where are you getting the questions from? In my work, mm -hmm. every time I invited someone to the podcast, mm -hmm. I go around and I'll, I talk about the, uh, I pretty much talk about Tori MMA all the time, you know, all the time. Yeah, but, <laughs> you should be down to talk your stuff. Yeah, but then I tell them people, hey, I got this guy right here. If you guys have any questions, just ask me and I'll, you know, I'll write it down and I'll 
you know, I'll I'll read it to them because mm-hmm. they they watch the podcast, mm-hmm. so they're gonna be they're gonna be watching. They're gonna hear your, your answers. Um, I've met a guy, and he was he was pretty much a bully, but he wasn't a bully because he was a jackass. He was a bully because he was just angry mm-hmm. all the time. He was very angry. Have you ever been? that type of fighter have you ever been a fighter that was angry and was trying to you know get people hurt because you're angry or mm. you're just like you were, you were just different you know what that's funny you said i had a uh, it was a coach of mine he said something he said something so stupid as you know my record i don't have i had like one knockout that was my first fight but long story short he said something so dumb like i don't like to hurt people or something dumb uh, something dumb and one, no, I don't like to hurt people. No, I definitely don't like to hurt people. Mm-hmm. Two, True. in a fight, obviously the my goal is to win. I have to do. I mean, my, my fight speaks for itself. You know, I fought with a dislo- fought with dislocated shoulder, fought. Oh shit! You know, all all messed. Up. People don't know. Against you know, I, I fought with, I, with an opponent, cornerman. You understand me? My mm-hmm. opponent cornerman was 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 cornering me. Just give me water, and I I won, but but my circumstances are a little different. I say that simply because that anger stuff, that temper, tantrum, getting uh, angry, that's yeah. for the birds. I can't get angry and fight. I tried that, it didn't work yeah. out. All right, I did. I thought it was a little cool for a highlight reel. I tried it. I tried it. I tried. It. I tried it. I, tried it. I, tried it. I don't. I think when I first came out here, I was hanging out with Miles on and everybody loved Miles I'm like, dude, that's some love. Like a cop is like. Looking at him beeping the horn, you know. I'm like, dude, I want that. I want that. He'd be like, Mr. Miami. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. But that's a lot of love, you know. When you have that much love, it's like, bro, I got reasons, you know. For you can guys get nervous, or you can feel comfortable. I you noticed know you I mean? have some love for Masvidal. I saw your on your social media. Yeah, he's a, he. I mean, he, he he got me down here, you know. So yeah, we yeah. He's a he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. But I don't think you need to. Be, I, I certain people need to get angry. Or corner. I can't get angry. If I, if I get angry at you, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm mad at you. Maybe because again, I'm from Philly. I got a different type of blood in my vein. If I'm mad at you, then I'm not gonna be. We're not friends. Because I knock you out, don't mean I don't want to knock you out again. So that anger part can't be in me. You know, yeah. I have to calm. I have to find my peace. Certain again, that's who I am. And if I'm angry at you again, I'm after the fight is over. You think it's over? No. Every day, that's anger. That's real anger. I don't promote. The sports already, the sports already a violent sport. You understand me? Of course. Let's make it. It's an art. I love the fight. I love. I mean, I I did this shit for free against some of the best for free for it. The most I got paid outside was two and two, and I felt like no, no. For the contender, I got five and five. That was the most. But I got two and two, four thousand, of course. And that was a that was the most I ever got paid. But what is it that you like about fighting? Is it is it the uh the winning is it the uh, is it for your ego is it for power I, I like it you said that well you're well let's just be honest when if you if i ask you hey are you good i mean you're you're different but if i you ask me well you ask anybody like hey are you good are you can you just you know, we all gonna sit there and try to make yourself look pretty but i feel like once you're fighting you can't lie you cannot go in there and tell me you did this or you did that you understand me? Yeah. If I'm punching your face and you doing all you could, if I take you down and you doing everything you could, you cannot lie to me and tell me that that you trained or you prepared or forget about that. Are you gonna just accept it? Are you gonna let me take you down? Are you gonna let another man take you down? You know, you gonna fight like hell. You just gonna make a big excuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. You understand? Truth will be exposed, whether you like it. or or not, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I really like. When I say, yo, <laughs> I am one of the best because you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you, I can write it down. Do you think violence ever got you in trouble? Like big time? When I was a kid, yeah, hands down. Like go to jail and stuff like that? No, or? no, 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 no. Probation? No, 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 no. I mean, man, not, not like that, thank God. I was smart, people made, you know, I move a little different, but no, no, no. Are you not wearing a wire, are you? Me? A wire? <laughs> I got the cops right here on my... I got the production right here. No, no. I'm a nope. good kid. <laughs> I'm, I was a good kid, you know? Yeah. I just didn't like... um, You know, I was I like anime and stuff, and I just... 
I didn't like bullying. What kind? What kind of anime? Dragon Ball Z is a godfather. So I, don't, I don't think I'm allowed to say okay. that, man. I don't think I'm allowed to say Dragon Ball Z. It's just you, not fair. You, you can. I can't say Dragon yeah, Ball Z. You can. You can. I love Dragon Ball Z. I really? love Dragon Ball Z. Anybody that says, man, Dragon Ball Z is okay. It's either Dragon Ball Z or Naruto. I understand the whole concept of Naruto, which is cool. But just because, just because it's it's like neck and neck with uh, Dragon Ball Z, I kind of didn't watch it. Yet. There's a show called um, Saint Seiya. I don't know if you ever heard about it. It's really famous in Brazil and Mexico. Um, it's it's a Japanese show, of course, mm -hmm. but they um, they have like a philosophy which is really interesting. You know, Dragon Ball Z and Saint Seiya they walk hand in hand, and they're like, "You gotta text that to me." Yeah, I'll 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 show it to you. Dragon Ball Z was supposed to be a comic thing. It's supposed to be funny, right? Yeah. yeah. Saint Seiya is supposed to be serious. Yeah. They had to tone it down a little bit because it was it was a little violent. Right yeah. for kids, and then back in the '90s, it was a little bit, it was a little over, you know, it was violent. Mm -hmm. Now, they have a very interesting mindset. You never give up. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what happens. Yeah. You never give up. Your yeah. body's gonna be broken. Yeah. You're you're gonna be destroyed. Yeah. But there is always something out there, and that's very interesting for us fighters. Mm -hmm because that's what i love about fighting because it will reveal that yeah. you just give up you don't give up if you take a punch to the face mm -hmm. and you give up right because when i watch videos of people fighting i i see them taking punches and they're like they're always they're all knocked out they're all fucked up and they mm -hmm. keep walking around they, they don't know what they are it's just you can tell he's not a fighter mm -hmm. that's what i i try to tell people if you take a punch and you're done you get up and you're mm -hmm. lost you don't you don't know where you are mm -hmm. you're not a fighter and it's okay if you're not it's a fighter. Okay. You can, it's okay. You 100%. could be a fighter. You can, I wish I wasn't a fighter. You can train, right? Yeah, you, yeah, can, you train. can train, but sometimes, you know. Sometimes you don't have the heart. You, or, or you just your body just isn't able to take it. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's okay. Yeah. It's, I wish I wasn't okay. a, this amazing fighter that I am now. Yeah. yeah. But I remember when I when I start, tra I start training at the uh, American Top Team, mm -hmm. I saw you. I saw you training. And I was like, man, this guy, man, this guy can fight. Homeboy can fight. <laughs> I remember I saw you. I saw some other fighters. And I remember I was training at, you know, other gyms. And then when I got there, I saw people, they're professional fighters, perfect fighters. I'm like, bro, I got I got so much to learn from these people, you know. If you go to a gym <laughs> such as American Top Team, yeah. there's so much you can learn. And if you go to another gym, which is like a, you know a backyard gym mm -hmm. it doesn't matter you can learn something from there mm -hmm. that's the fighter's mindset it, it doesn't matter where you are you can always learn something yeah. you can learn learn and become a better fighter mm -hmm. you know um uh what's his name you remember Kimbo slice yeah he started as a street fighter he was yeah. a street fighter mm -hmm. pretty much right when did you start training at american top team for the Mother Dog Camp versus Ben around at 2019. Okay. Yeah. That was the same time I started training there, I think. Really? I believe. No, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I started training before COVID. Okay. I trained there for like a year or so, and then COVID hit. The same time, and yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, the same, same time. Same time, right? So do you think that gym specifically turned you to this machine you are right now? Honestly, no. They made everything a lot easier for me. They made everything a lot easier for me. My mind, I, everything that was already there, they just put it. They just gathered everything and just put it together in the right line. And if that makes sense, mm -hmm. they taught me how to use all my tools that I had, like the hammer. You know, I'm trying to build something. Say, hey, relax. Take this hammer. Go hit the nail. Don't take the hammer and go freaking beat on the concrete they, they're teaching me how to use my tools you know they're teaching okay. me they're putting it together you know big you know he's thinking you know mike brown the list goes on like everybody mike brown uh, blah, 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 blah. oh my goodness the list goes steve uh mako um dude uh some of, even the fighters pitbull pitbull, oh, pitbull? Yeah, yeah pitbull uh barbosa you know, barbosa yeah, yeah you know uh the uh, gabriel brother ivan you know okay um, Freaking, the list goes on and on, and I'm just so blessed. I mean, I hope I didn't leave anybody out because I, I didn't. Some of the Russians, 
you know, just being. I like their mindset. I like I like other people that are from different countries. You know, Tiago Tiago Alves. Yeah, Pitbull. Yeah, he's coming here. When? Um, we're um, we're negotiating because uh, you know his schedule is really. Uh, he's coming yeah. here. It's gonna be the first week of July. So. Oh really? Yeah, I, we don't know which day yet, uh -huh. but he he'll be here. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Now, do you think um, if you never join America Top Team, do you think you would be the same fighter you are today? I mean, I, I, of course. Um, I have to. It's say all that. in your mind, right? Yeah, your mind of course, and oh, of course, of course, of course. I owe them so much, Dane, Richie. I owe them so much. I mean, do you have anybody that you? He's like your idol or your hero or something in your MMA? The, uh, honestly, when I saw, like, I went to the gym. It was a King Mo and Pitbull. Bro, I was just happy to see Pitbull because I got, you know, detention from watching his fights. Like, yo, this guy in in high school. Yeah. I'm like, in school. It Was it in school detention, like ISS or something stupid like that? But um, I remember, I'm like, man, this is why I just can't, you know, I was in the library looking at his fight. And he had blood all over him. And I guess they made a big deal. I'm like, all right, you're going to in-school suspension. But, yeah, when I saw him, I'm like, bro, I'm training with this guy. You know, I, again, all glory to God. I didn't do anything. I just listened. So I just followed the direction and bada boom, bada bang. Now, what fighter do you dislike in MMA? People don't actually ask those kind of questions. But, you know, I'm the type of guy that I'll... I'll ask that question. It doesn't matter. <laughs> can't is there is there a fighter that you kind of a lot of them dislike? A lot of them. If you I don't want to say any names, it's fine. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't have any names because again, if I don't like you, you're gonna know. I don't. I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna like wait turn. It was disappointing is like when you really know these people and you, it kills me. It's like, oh man, dude, I really you know. Yeah. I really like you, you know. I thought you was this. I thought you was that. You know, I thought you was a badass. Yeah. And I told you, just because you fight don't make you. Just because you fight, bro, don't make you t a tough guy. You know of what I mean? The not. list goes on. I mean, you know so many fighters. Yeah. You know, I can. You, I don't have to say anything. Because you fight don't make you a tough guy. You get really disappointed. Because a lot of them are just cornball. You know a guy that he's actually really nice? Oh. And he, he looks like a jerk online, but he's really nice? Kobe Covington. <laughs> Man, he's so cool. I had a, t I read, I had a really good talk with him. I was training and I saw him. I was like, "Hold on, that's Kobe." Yeah. I straight up walked to him and we had a conversation. He was so nice. And some fighters, they just people think they're assholes, but they're not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joanna, Joanna, she's really cool as well. Jo, jo Joanna. Yeah, the, she's so the boogie, cool, man. man. She's she. You want to know something? Out of a lot of people, bro. If I if I can just be the male version, bro, she's she's I can tell you a lot. I of wanted to bring stuff. her over here, man. Who? Uh, uh, Joanna. Joe. Now JJ's a she's a legit superstar now. You know she me. owes me a photo, right? She oh she, she you gotta hit her up. She might. Yeah, I was I was training. I saw her walking around. I'm uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah, I gotta take a photo with you. Yeah. She waited for me for like ten seconds, and then she had to walk away because I was training. You want to know something? I don't think she's she would honestly because I witnessed you know in the corner of my eyes I watched her do a lot of games and shit bro she would pray before the mat off the mat help a lot of people from what I saw you know and I mean yeah they probably have that little you know from what I understand you know everybody have that you know when I'm fighting I'm zoning you know I can't I'm not in here entertaining right that's everybody though but mm -hmm. she she I think she actually have a good heart she will help out if possible she yeah. would. Definitely do it. Do you fight to win fights or you fight to entertain? Oh, that's a good question. I'd rather fight to win fights than entertain. Because I know, I mean, right now, once I solidify myself in my career, that's actually something that, um, wow, that's actually something that somebody actually, you know, is that like a topic or something? Because that's actually a very good question, you know? That's a good because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I fight to win fights, you know? Because I know I'm not going to get opportunities like this. You know what I mean? I can't just, they're not going to be, oh, let's just get to Sydney. I got to build my followers. I got to do all this. I got to, you know, be a people person. I don't like people like that. I got some questions for you, bro. I got some answers for you. I got some you, questions for you, bro. Depending on the question. From, late, from the ladies. And from Ooh, the men. Oh, tell them the to head of my, you yeah. see, I should have got a haircut. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I have a question for, I'm going to start with the lady right now. The lady. I have a question for Mrs. Fernanda. Fernando is asking, 
have you ever seen street fighting for females? I'm trying to translate because she speaks mm -hmm, Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen uh, females fighting street fights? Yeah. Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. Well, you want you want me my opinion on it? Yeah. It's okay. not classy at all. It's weird, right? Yeah, you see titties flying <laughs> and hair. I mean, no. And the girls get brutal. Even if they're losing a fight, they'll take their shoes and try to shove it in the other girl. I'm like, bro, relax. Yeah. You know, I mean, I break it. I'd rather break up a, a female fight, you know, not because their titties are flying all over the spot. Just because that's not classy, kid. You know, that's a female. But they're adorable. As like, yeah. How the heck you just get up and walk away? You don't got a concussion? I don't think it's. I don't think we. I don't think men should allow females to just fight. I don't think that. I think if anybody does that as a man, then you're less than a man. You know, you're not a man. You lose your man title. You gotta break that shit up. Andrea is asking if you're single. Tell she can hit me up my uh, Instagram at Sid Outlaw MMA. This is her. Oh my goodness, she's from Brazil. She is. She can. I would marry her tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, Andrea. She's Easy. gonna marry you tomorrow. <laughs> In love. I gotta get that belt first. No, we can do it together. I oh lied. my goodness, Andre is asking, "What do you think about fighters that fight drunk or uh, intoxicated?" <laughs> the street fighters, crazy. They fight like that. Not responsible. Yeah. Dangerous. Isn't drinking? Drinking, I know, is bad for you, but I think it does something to your brain. So I don't reckon. I, I hope. Everybody. Fighting, fighting drunk. Yeah, I hope everybody knows it. Yeah, that's people not that fight drunk. They're so pff, pathetic, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's not healthy for them. They're probably angry, right? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever fought drunk before? No, no. Uh -uh. Yo, when I when I I I I recently got into like cannabis because I needed something to stop my pain. So you want to hear something funny? Mm -hmm. I fought drunk before. Oh, how does that work? I'm a chorus. A chorus. You, you know, you know, it's not good. Uh, the reason why it's not good is because it numbs the pain, but you're so slow. Really? I was so slow, man. It numbs the pain. When I was fighting, when I was sparring, it felt like I was doing everything good. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw the video, I'm like, fuck, I'm so slow, man. I can I can see mm -hmm. the movements. I can mm -hmm. I can move right. Why do you drink if your mommy asking? No, I was I was drinking with a couple of friends. No, I wasn't I wasn't even gonna go. Like to a train. social thing, right? Yeah, it was yeah. a social thing. I wasn't even gonna go to train, and then I decided to go to train. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, you know what? I, you know, when you get drunk, you mm -hmm. you get excited. Sometimes mm -hmm. you wanna do you wanna do things. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, I wanna I wanna go train, bro. Yeah, it was the worst decision of my life. <laughs> I wasn't even concerned about the training itself, but yeah. I was concerned about you know embarrassing my my coach, uh, uh, but, you know, embarrassing myself, mm -hmm. my coach. I was like, man, I'll never do that shit again. I was, because mm -hmm. I I barely drink. Um, I have a question. Igor is asking, have you ever been in a street fight where you got knocked out or something like that? No. Never? No. My brother would not let that happen. Mm. I have a my family is really deep. Nah, 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 what? Oh my goodness. Honestly, it was a couple thinking now, I can just imagine it was a couple of oh, remember that guy on a roller skate? I told you I got beat up. I think his name was John. I remember that because I remember hearing about it for the whole car ride home. I mean, I was dropping my brother off. I remember hearing about it. Long story short, oh my God, my mom was like, "You better be lucky. Uh, 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 your brother wasn't here, making 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 me look bad in this neighborhood." Because Don would have, you know, Don cousins, everybody, this is nuts. They had nothing better to do. Uh, Kyle is asking. It's Kyle, not Kyle. Kyle is uh, he's Brazilian. He's asking if weed will affect your training. Yeah, and I you talking like I said I I recently got into, actually no I can't honestly I for myself I can only speak for myself I recently got into this I'm only smoking at nighttime some sometimes simply because it it kind of helped my me tolerate some pain that I really can't tend to at that moment and sleep, but um I know people that get high and they come out oh my goodness. Man, they constantly <coughs> train. They do some crazy stuff. They're durable. They never get hurt. They train forever. I'm like, damn. So you think it helps? Enjoy it for certain individuals. You got to be honest with yourself. You know, okay. I'm honest with myself. I'll it depends a, on the person, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you put a little bit of THC in me, man. I just want to hang. I just want to give everybody a high five, eat everything, mm -hmm. chill, sleep, 
That's it. Give me back kisses and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> um, Fernando is asking, have you ever lost a fight that really, that really messed you up? Uh, one was in front of Dana White for looking for a fight. It dislocated my shoulder, bro. I woke up. Like, well, I dislocated my shoulder. And I woke up. My arm was, like, stuck. My hand was, like, right next to my face. Long story short, I looked around. A lot of people wasn't even there. They left. I'm like, damn. And it was that. And right in front of Dana White for looking for a fight. You and know, I took the fight that nobody didn't want to fight, like a dummy. You know, I walked in there confident. And that happened. So, yeah. But that was also a learning experience for me. You know, a bunch of every Almost every fight I lost is... His name is L. There's nothing else, just L. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy mm. or a dude or whatever. Well, I hope that helped him. <laughs> He's asking, when you spar with the boxing gloves, what kind of gloves do you like wearing? Combat corner, but I'm looking at these touring gloves, bro. You like the touring gloves, I'm bro? I'm looking at them. You're going to have them. I'm looking at them. Today you're gonna have you're gonna try them you're gonna test them and then I come back with the belt and I can let you know how mm. I did. But to answer Fuck. your question is combat corner. I'm just staring at. Them. I like them. I like when the you put thing. them on. You're gonna feel the power. The power. It's a I, lot of power. When I tried them on, I still feel. I don't even want to wash his hand right now. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for Tuesday. Yeah. Remember, I've, I've been using this one for two years. Get that two out of here. Two years. So it's been in the making for two. I know years. you can. You can tell it's used. Yeah. And it's, it smells like. It smells like Camel's ass, oh. but <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it doesn't smell dope. that bad because <laughs> it's leather. When it's real leather, it's, mm -hmm. it's just you know. Yeah. But um, see here, I got the uh, question for. Hold on, cause this this guy was really, he's really into me. He's he's. <laughs> he's really into me. Okay, Flavio is asking. He's a Brazilian guy. All right, he's a fighter. Mm -hmm. He's been fighting in Brazil. He never fought here. He wants to come over here. But, you know, he thinks it's easier. Mm -hmm. It's not. He wants to fight for American Top Team. He mm -hmm. saw my photos and everything. That's how we, he added me on Instagram and we started talking. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, he's asking, what does it take for me to become a student from, let me translate that, a student from America Top Team? And then he said, he said, I'm the best. I will never lose a fight in my whole life. He's 19 years old. What would you tell this kid, man? He's he's a uh, he's a teenager. He wants to be a fighter. You want to come to American Top Team? He wants to come to American Top Team. I don't know his record. I don't have access to that. I would say try if you really if your goal is to come to American Top Team, then I would say try to try your best to email him. Try to try your best to when it's a will, there's always a way. Mm -hmm. Constant. You might get rejected. Do it again, like, over and over and over. Meanwhile, you're training hard because when you get in there, trust me, it's 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 a playground for champions. All right, it's a bunch of somebody in that gym. I don't think there's anybody that isn't a champion. You know what I mean? There is something he needs to watch out, mm -hmm. which is really important. Yeah. Overconfidence. Yes. Yeah. He thinks he's undefeated. Oh, you're right. You know. This is how pretty much we met, cause mm -hmm. I I always posted like I'm undefeated, mm -hmm. but I was making fun of it, mm -hmm. you know. I was just joking around. I yeah. always tell people like, "Yo, I was checking the news today and um, I'm undefeated," you know. But I was just joking around. Mm -hmm. But he's he's serious. He's mm -hmm. like, "I'm I'm never gonna be defeated." You, you know, know what? You know you know what? I want to say because I, I I get caught up in that, you know. I want to say it's because of the generation nowadays. I think because of the, like I said, UFC. They care about they. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a talker. You gotta, you gotta have that type of swag. You know what I mean? So it kind of messes people up to give them that false confidence. You know, they get padded records. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Fight a couple bums. Hey, I'm 21 and 0. You know, <laughs> I'm so. Am I? Am I exaggerating? <laughs> no, you know? it's true. It happens. And I'm like, wow, it's it, this is incredible. You know, and yeah, you find somebody. You know, you believe the hype. And he boom. George is asking, would you fight someone above your weight class? Yeah, I did that. I had the 170-pound belt, ring of combat. 
or I think another organization, or was it from Ring of Combat? And I fought for the contender 170. The one they asked me to. Jason, how do you see yourself in five years? I, I'm definitely going to be a millionaire. Champion. Going. I want to, I wanna, like I said, I'm, my goal is to be like a, uh, like a Fedor, help the community, give back, you know. I can't get back like millions or whatever. I can get back my time because that is valuable. I feel like we need that. Do you not see the gym? Do you not see this? Do you not see the, the youth, the generation? They need, it, you know, they can just look. I don't want people to be looking at me, oh, he's not pretty or he's not cool. No, he's. I want people to understand, like, dude, I am the low of the low. You know, I was not meant, I was always picked the last. I wasn't important. If I died, nobody would have cared. You dig what I'm saying? I would care, man. I would oh, cry. man, thank you so much. I but I'm realist. I'm realist. We need, I just want to say, hey, all I did was have faith in God, very important, you know, messed up a bunch of times, went back to my focus point. Understand? You're a shooter. You know, I use my iron sights a lot. You got to line it back. You shot, you line it back up. You shoot the recoil, you line it back up. Am I correct? Yeah. With that said, again, you got to do that with the career. You know, I don't want everybody, everybody, I feel like everybody has talent. We just got this wacky mindset of, oh, this is YOLO. We got to enjoy life. No, your youth is when you put your work in. When you're old and you're, t look at look at Boca. Everybody got a house, bro. They're not young. I mean, of course, they're probably on TikTok and all that crap. You know what I mean? Jake Paul or whatever. Yeah. But you put your work in. Jake Paul, they put their work in. Look at them, you know what I mean? I used to work as a painter. A painter? Yeah. Dope. This okay. guy, he was, uh, uh, I was trying to paint his house because yeah. we used to paint the whole condos, right? Uh-huh. This guy, he he had his car parked in his garage, mm -hmm. and we put signs like two days prior asking people to move their car so we can paint mm -hmm. the houses and shit. I knocked on his door, mm -hmm. and I was like, sir, could you please move your car so we can paint your house? Mm -hmm. And he said, you got to wait Oh, wait, are you talking to you? You talking to, you talking like to that? me? He talking to you like that? I'm he like, mind? sir, please, I need you to move your car like right now because you said the please. machine is ready. Yeah, because you know I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to tell him to go fuck himself, right? So I yeah. just told him I said, look, sir, I need you to move your car, please, because I need to paint your house, uh -huh. right? He was like, he he just closed the door on my face. He didn't say nothing. He, you said please two said, times, please two, two times, time, twice. And I, I, I told him, I said, look, I need to, please, just move your car. I need mm -hmm. to paint your house, right? I, whoa, whoa, two please and doing him a favor. I mean, not a getting... favor. It's, I mean, he wasn't even paying for it. The, I think the association was paying for it because they're supposed to paint the, the whole complex every seven so years. So you're trying to make his crib look good. It was going to look beautiful. And look he beautiful. slammed the door. So two please. Every time we spray a house, right, we got to. We either gotta cover it. We gotta cover everything. We gotta yeah. make everything looks nice. Yeah. And then we gotta move cars away from the house, right? So he didn't move his car. I waited for ten minutes. What? And then I sprayed his house. Two, please, doing him a favor. I fucked up his car. His car got all got over spray all over the, the hood, the windshield, and everything. He got pissed off when he came out. Mind you, he was a twenty year old. Probably 19, 20 year old boy. He, he's a boy, right? Uh -huh. When he came out, he tried to pick up a fight with me. <laughs> and I told him, I said, Look, bro, you're not a fighter. Stop yeah. talking like that. He was, his girl was right there. His How girl long was, was, it was a beautiful girl. She, she was watching him. She wasn't saying anything, uh -huh. but I can tell she was so disappointed. She was so embarrassed. Because yeah. her man was acting like a kid. And he was so upset. He was. He he tried. He wanted to fight me, and I'm like, bro, I'm I'm telling you right now, you don't want to fight me. Just please don't don't shut the fuck up. Yeah. He got he got really pissed off. He yeah. really wanted to fight, and I was like, okay, listen, listen. And then my friend came up to me, and my friend was a jujitsu fighter. He was yeah. he was a, he actually got me into jujitsu, right? Yeah. And he came up to me. He said, bro, I mean, what's the problem? He said, oh, you 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 got my car all fucked up. I said, look, we told you. We put the signs two days prior. We asked you politely. You didn't move your car. We told you we were going to spray your house in 10 minutes. You didn't move your car. So, I mean, what's up with that? Yeah. You try to pick up a fight. But the funny thing is he got on my face. He didn't He didn't throw a punch. Mm -hmm. He didn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. All he did was talk shit. That's the Most generation. people do that. 
Most that, people do that. That's the generation. Do you not see Instagram and TikTok? The difference is I was ready for it. He wasn't ready for it. Yeah. When he was talking to me, I was just there. I was just like, bro, I see that shit all day, every day. As soon as I finished work, I went to train. Right? He finished work. He, I don't know what he does, but he's not a fighter. <laughs> right? Now, just think about this. You train for years. Yeah. You. Right? Imagine I'm a, just a guy, just a running Joe, right? And I show up and I want to fight you. Imagine how how would you feel about that? How would you feel about a guy? He's not really a fighter, but he just wants to fight you. Yeah. Just and because? Just because. He just want to be a dick. He, yeah. He's not using his reason. Like, they're going to pay my house. I got to move my car. They told me two days prior, right? So it, that's the kind of shit that pisses me off a little bit. Yeah. No, I, I could imagine. And you kind of did the right thing. You're in your legal rights, I guess. So he was being a dingling. I wasn't even aggressive. I didn't no. even raise my voice. No, I have to. It's 2022, oh. man. This is what they do. Yep. This is what they get used to it. They, yeah. I mean, fight. listen, I told you. Because you fight don't make you tough, bro. Yeah. Because this tough, the tough guy days is done, bro. Over. Yeah. I know... Time is short. I know we gotta. There are some questions here I couldn't read mm -hmm. because you know time is short. We gotta. We don't have much time. Am I invited back before? You know you're gonna come back, right? Am I allowed? Of oh, course. I, love to. I actually enjoy of this, man. You're gonna come back. It's gonna be fun because I'm gonna bring you and two other guys here. Okay. We're gonna fight. We're gonna what? Whoever survives wins. I thought honestly, you see, we're gonna, gonna be break fun. all this. Is gonna be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> man, <laughs> come on! <laughs> WWE, we're gonna, we're gonna break everything. We're gonna use that cube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just letting you guys know, this guy right here, he has a lot to say. This guy, he's a a great fighter. I remember you, man. I remember you. We're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna go for paintball practice. We're gonna go train together. Airsoft shooting, I did not hear you say that. Paintball, airsoft shooting, training. I like that. Which one's better? You know airsoft, military practice airsoft. People don't really play paintball. Paintball, you get messy. You okay. Know. You wouldn't want me to put, you got, look at that good Brazilian hair, bro. <laughs> you want to mess it up? Why is sex as well? <laughs> <laughs> you want to mess it up? Paintball, okay. uh, airsofting is really, like, is definitely realistic. Got cooler guns and. More I realistic, mean, right? It's yeah, this way is, that's more how realistic. That's how uh, the military. That's how that's they, they train. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. I got approved guns. All right, let's put a, let's put on a challenge. Hey, if you, you sure? if you if you beat me, uh huh. When when? Come we'll, on, I'm listening. We'll set up a date. When? July. Last week of July. Let's do it. No, bro, I'm fighting. When you're fighting? The 22nd. Who's, of that. Who are you fighting? The uh, challenger. Okay. So the I'm, I'm the challenger. Okay, so who are you fighting? Pitbull. You're fighting Pitbull? Yeah. But you guys are fucking teammates. No. Per, I can't pronounce his name. The Patrici? The Patrici? Oh, okay. That's not Tiago no, Alves. that's Patrici. Okay. All right. The oh, 55, cool. the older brother. Okay. Older oh, brothers? Y yes. What the fuck? I'm going to bring them over. Are you crazy? Let's bring them over. You guys should talk together. <laughs> Here. I'm for you know you know what I'm talking you about got, you guys gotta you guys are gotta do you know who I'm speaking you guys now? you gotta you guys gotta come here I'm gonna be the psychologist mm -hmm. and you guys are gonna talk about your problems do about you, your feelings do you know what I'm talking about yeah of course <laughs> I know yeah my my homeboy I met him in prison you are crazy <laughs> uh, you crazy I but. met him in prison bro <laughs> fuck yeah I know I know yeah but Just, afterwards I'm gonna come I'm gonna look sexier I'm gonna get my teeth done well, yeah I'm gonna have a nice gold no gold get your teeth done when you retire. I'm getting it done after my fight. I'm, it's already set. All right, you want to get your thing. and I want to get a and I want to get a house. Go I'm gonna to, get go a, to a Brazil. House. It's a lot cheaper. Go to Brazil. I'm I'm telling you right now. Mm. When we turn the cameras off, I'm gonna tell you a very nice place. Go to Brazil. You All get right, the shit take done. Take your word from. Yeah, I'm not you, gonna go there and get robbed. You can put gold, gold teeth. You can put the the fucking fangs and shit. I know? might get the fangs. Yeah, get the fangs. Ladies That's why might I'm like doing. that, right? I'm gonna get the, the golden yeah, you teeth. Might like that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put the, the horns. Golden fangs. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, you it, tripping with the horns? You yeah, had put, me with I'm the fangs. Putting the golden you horns and shit, me, man. Had me with the fangs. Yeah. 
we have a tradition here. Everybody that comes here, we gotta put the uh, they gotta put they gotta wear the Torian MMA gloves. It doesn't matter if it's MMA gloves or boxing gloves. Mm -hmm. You choose. Put them on and you tell people how it feels like. If okay. it feels like I shit, you can just straight up tell them what? The, the one you say stink. MMA? Mm -hmm. It's used. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm going to try these on because I actually want to. Yeah. I've been using this for two years and never washed them. You know, you're not supposed <laughs> to wash them, so they feel like it's. You're funny. <laughs> it's <laughs> but try these bad boys on. Honestly, you know. Can you, you feel know. the power? Can you feel the bulls? You the bulls know. power? Yeah, man. But anyway, oh, I like it. You like I'll it? Say, I like it. I feel like I like I said before. I like how my wrist. How you can move. But tell me. But if there's anything stiff, wrong, tell me. No, I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, you know? tell me. Tell me. You know, it isn't weak. Like I'm forcing it to go because I'm a grappler. Uh huh. You know, but when I'm punching it, locked. It stops. It won't go. If I'm gonna go further, it won't go. Okay. So my wrist is safe. Okay. Cool. It's not gonna break. It's safe. Okay. I I'm like, somebody actually had to take the time to design it. Yeah. You understand me? So I like it. Um, my my favorite glove to spar in, like you know, I'm one of their athlete, the combat corner guys, combat corner. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. I would have to really speak to him because this right here, I'm like, bro, we got to talk another deal because I might have to holler at these people. These, This is right here. My hands are molded. And I'm not supposed to be saying this right now. That one right there, that's real, pure leather. So real leather really makes that big of a difference. It's huh? going to last a lot longer. I just want to hold this right here yeah. this whole entire time. Let me tell you this. If you buy them and you, you just take f fake leather, uh -huh. for example... They're gonna um, last for like a year or so. Get out of here. That one will last for fucking four years. It's like the winnings. Just like keep. That. All right, I'm gonna give you a pair, right? You're gonna use them. I want you to use them, the shit out of them. Mm. You're gonna, you're gonna tell me. In, I'll meet you in five years and you tell me. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't buy the gloves and just put the logo in that That's we some lazy build ass them shit. from scratch. I, I feel it. I'm proud to say, people, I build them from scratch. I make sure they look nice. I make sure they uh, they're comfortable. They're safe. They're they not gonna fuck up your unique. wrists. You look very unique. You can't find another glove that looks similar. I mean, you can. Um, um, the I got new gloves coming up. Mm. You got MMA one, the puffy one, so I can punch yeah. it in the face with. It's called um, uh, Titan. Titan. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll tag you on the photo, and you let me know. Daniel Mendes saw it. He loved them. I don't know if the production can put that on the sh on the, but I don't, I don't think they can. But uh, I'll show you. It, they're beautiful. Okay. They're they're so. Just talking about that yeah. makes me makes me want to fight somebody. Yeah, you're right? funny, <laughs> Mr. Sydney. Thank you so much for being here. You gave me something better than money, which is your time, mm -hmm. which is priceless. Mm -hmm. I want you to see you here again. I want to see you sitting in that chair again. And we're gonna talk about whatever we're gonna talk about. I like you, dog. Yeah. You dope. You're yeah, a pretty man. cool guy. Come on, man. I'm cool hey. as hell, bro. Yes, you are. You're the oh, man. Shit, I wanna bro. be. I wanna I'm be cool. like you. Yeah, man. I, I wanna be like you, man. You got more skills than I have, bro. Fighting, right. you fight longer than I do, man. Hey, you're a pretty boy. That's all. My that next fight, it's gonna be on. I was gonna fight on on June seventeenth, but you know, I'll, I you know I fucked up my my foot, mm -hmm. so I cancel all my fights. So yeah. uh, I want to fight as soon as I can. Okay. September they have a fight coming up on on Tampa. Yeah. I want to take that fight on. Okay. You know, I feel confident. My little got a whatever. great promotion icon. Uh, freaking, what is it called? I I know icon and. I like island fight promotion and all that stuff. So yeah. I think right, I recommend if you want to hit him up. It's in the three hundred five. Okay. The three hundred five. Three hundred five. Yeah. Three hundred five. Uh, so you know them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. They're cool. <laughs> I want to fight for them. Yeah. Yeah. They got they got a good show. You know they were, we were supposed to make a deal, right? We're gonna make business. Yeah. Three hundred five in Tor MMA. We're gonna we're gonna do a business. Um, by the end of the year, you guys are gonna have a. You guys, mm -hmm. you know. It's coming. It's coming. There's mm -hmm. so many things that are coming that I can't even tell you guys right now, but it's coming. That's so, cool. Sydney, 
Thank you so much for being here. Thank I you really appreciate you. your presence. Thank you. Right? And um, I want you to use, you choose which one would you like, the blue or the red. Which one would you like? Tell me. Don't be shy. Tell me. Tell me. I got to tell you. Tell In front of everybody? In front of everybody. Everybody's watching. Me. We got three thousand billion people watching. Oh my God! Woo. <laughs> now you got me sweat. Oh, I would take the blue ones because they look cool. The blue ones? Yeah. Cool. They're yours. Thank you so much. Oh my God! Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't deserve them, man. Thank you. You deserve them. Okay, of course you do. Okay. Every fighter deserves them. Thank you, guys. We're gonna make a promotion. Um, we're gonna do a promo code. You're going to type Sydney. I'm going to put that in the description. Thank you. So For the whole week, you can buy these gloves 15% off using the name Sydney. I'm going to put that in the description. I'm going to don't worry about it. I'm going to put that on my Instagram. Follow follow Instagram uh Tor MMA Instagram, which is Tor MMA. If you go to Facebook, you can follow Tor MMA on Facebook. You can go to YouTube channel and type Tor MMA or Tor MMA podcast. It's really easy to find. We're the only brand around. We got the best quality. And we have Sydney here. He's wearing the gloves right now and he can tell you guys right now. It's second to none. It's beautiful. Second to it none. It feels good. It Adorable. smells good. It smells like leather. See? He's yeah. in love with the gloves right now. Look. He's in love with it. Woo. He can feel he can Woo. feel the power. You gonna he's Ooh. gonna serve the bull god. <laughs> Ooh, man. Guys, thank you so much again. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And um Sydney, anything you wanna tell to the new fighters coming up? Hey, stay humble, work hard. I know, I know, I know. You'll hear some work smarter, not harder. Find that find find a find a way. Even on your even on your rest days, make sure it works. You know, give all your attention to God and let him take care of the rest. And win, lose, or draw, bro, get back up and do it again. You win, do it again. You know, draw, do it again. Just keep doing it. Have fun. Enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, if you're just doing it just to do it, then you gotta do some soul searching, my friend. <laughs> so beautiful. Was that good? <laughs> I was just, you know, this whole thing, I was just freestyling. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And next week, we're going to get new people coming up. This beautiful man right here, man. I want to see you win that fight. It's I want to see you win that fight. When, it's when you win that fight, we're going to come back here and we're going to talk about that. All Thank right? you so much. All right. Thank you, guys. You guys have a good night. And uh, a hug from behind from Tori MMA crew. Thank you. <laughs>